Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. I ain't supposed to be drinking. I mess around. I drank. I drank the other night. I did it. So I got to start all over. Got to start all over. I'm back at it because I don't think drinking's for me anymore. And welcome, everyone. It is January the 27th, and I am your host. Welcome to I Said What I Said. We're going to talk about apologies. Apologies. I don't, I don't understand this. And I'm going to say I'm going to speak to the ladies because I don't deal with dudes like that. But ladies, why is it that we get in trouble for being mad at y'all? You do something that makes us mad. We're mad. You get mad at us for being mad at something you did. Why can't you just apologize? I don't care if you're talking about I'm, I'm, talk, I'm talking about girls that you you date. I'm talking about family members that are females. Y'all fuck some stuff up and then get mad at us for being mad. It makes no sense. And us as men, we always have to apologize. We, even when we're not in the wrong, we have to apologize. Stephen A. Smith had to apologize because he was asked on Sherry Shepard's show about how he felt about Rihanna performing at the halftime at the Super Bowl. And his response was, you know, she's spectacular, but she ain't no Beyonce. Why does this man have to apologize for that? She's not Beyonce. She's not. She's Rihanna. Some people like Coke. Some people like Pepsi. I'm not saying Rihanna's Pepsi because I don't want y'all want y'all coming at me, but some people like Pepsi. It ain't like he called her Shasta. Or Sierra Mist. Nobody ever asked for a Sierra Mist. But people ask, people ask for Coke just as much as they ask for Pepsi. This man shouldn't have to apologize for this just because he prefers Beyonce. I think most of us prefer Beyonce. I'm, I'm not one of them. Nothing against Beyonce and her people. But I'm not, as a man, I'm sick of apologizing when it's not necessary for me to apologize. This doesn't make any sense. You apologize. When you fuck up, that way you know it's sincere. Moving forward, the TSA, TSA, and of course, of course, in Texas, confiscated an anti-tank weapon, an anti-tank weapon. I don't even know where you get one of these, let alone why are you checking it at the airport? An anti. And apparently I found out you can you can take weapons on planes. You can, but you have to check them. You have to, and I didn't even know that, which is crazy, because now I'm a little I'm a little suspect about getting on a plane. Does somebody on this plane have an anti-tank? If something goes wrong, if that thing goes off, because I'm pretty sure if it's an anti-tank weapon, it's an explosive. I don't want this on the, I don't want this on my plane. And only in Texas, only in, I'm pretty sure, because they, they, didn't, they didn't give no, they didn't get no brown dude, no anti-tank weapon. They didn't get no black dude, an anti-tank weapon. White guy that got the anti-tank weapon, I suggest you start flying private. Stay off commercial flights. You're going to fuck everything up. It's scary enough getting on the plane and worrying about all kind of terrorism and everything else. Uh, sick old people, fat people next to me. Squeezing in one seat when they know they should have be in two seats. And I got to worry about anti-tank weapons. Only in Texas. Only in Texas. I'm, oh, I would, we're going to find a picture of this gentleman. And we're going we're gonna to circle back to this. Because I want to see what this gentleman looked like. <sighs> I know people, I get in trouble a lot. Cause I like to reference white people. Because white people are entertaining to me. I, like you guys are, you guys are so, so, so entertaining. You guys are so funny to me. You guys do weird shit. Like this Utah woman who decided to take the TikTok and wanted to tell everybody that she accidentally married her cousin and had his baby. You, ma'am, you don't accidentally marry anybody. <laughs> when you guys were on, when you guys were on the computer and y'all did the DNA thing and y'all saw that y'all grandparents had the same name. You, you knew, you knew what it was. You knew what it was, and it's too late because you you already fucked. You don't you don't marry nobody without fucking them first. You shouldn't at least. But after researching this, I found their third cousins. Their third cousin. Look, I, I've had a lot of sex. I'm pretty sure I've had sex with a third cousin. This why is this news? Why is this news? And why are people taking the why are people taking the TikTok to tell a personal business like this? I see. I used to just see ass on TikTok. Now I'm seeing dudes 
like with their baby mama outside slashing tires and stuff. Why are y'all putting y'all personal anything for views, anything for likes? We are we are sad people. And I don't know what y'all named that baby. And I'm not sure if the whole like. I don't know. I don't the special looking kids. I'm not going to say the R word. I'm going to get in trouble. But is it the, the kid have all his fingers and toes? I just wonder like what this baby looks like, because personally to me. Most white people look weird. Like, let's just get it out there. Most white people look weird. And you can disagree with me if you want to, but if you look and see what white people are doing to themselves now, even you guys think you look weird. You guys are trying so hard to look black, getting your bigger lips. You're like, we're missing something. And I, yeah, white people, you guys are missing parts. Whether it's lips, noses, or asses, y'all are missing parts. So you probably shouldn't be crossbreeding. I'm just gonna move forward. <laughs> I'll move forward. And, and touch on something that we talked about a few weeks ago. Um, CES. CES came to town and I said, you guys need to bring us some new technology. Bring us some new shit. I'm so excited for it. And apparently the best they could come up with was robotic strippers. Robotic strippers. And I'm like, and when I first heard this, I'm like, damn, that might not be such a bad idea. Like you get your lap dance and unplug the bitch and then you don't got to pay for it. Or maybe you spill some water on her because you like your dance wet. Um, but then they said they got a camera for her face. I don't need, I don't need my lap dance recorded. I don't want to see. I don't want to. See. Who's replaying this? Why is there a camera on the face of my stripper? Why? And and this just goes to prove that these these smart men, these geniuses, these nerds, even they're tired of hoes, and they barely deal with them because they spend all their time in the lab creating stuff, and they're tired of hoes where they don't even want them to speak. They put a camera on her face, not not a speaker, a camera, because they don't even want to hear the strippers talk. And I can't, I, like I, said, I thought this was a good idea, but I couldn't get behind it because, like I said before, like I touched on before, I love nipples, and these robots don't have nipples, and I'm not paying for a nippleless lap dance. I'm not doing it. I won't. And that's why I like I like boobies out during my lap dance. And these robot strippers don't even have torsos. It's just mannequin chest and mannequin ass and robo legs. I don't I'm not with it. Nerds, we got to do better. And you need more experience with women so we can improve these robots. Speaking of guy that has no experience with women. I didn't get this dude's name, but he went viral for returning the deposit that McDonald's accidentally gave to him. Sir, you 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 stupid. You were stupid and you were desperate for friends, I'm assuming, because that's it wasn't even a lot of cash, but it's a, it's a lot of cash to just magically come up on. And whoever's running this McDonald's, you guys should be ashamed of yourself. Who puts the deposit in Ziploc bags? It's in Ziploc you guys don't have a, a cash bag and you guys just got it laying around next to the food where some I'd have been gone. And apparently, apparently the reward for returning thousands of dollars is a year's worth of McDonald's. A year's worth of McDonald's. You get the fuck up out of here with that. You, I'm Look, if anything, I'm ordering food every day from this McDonald's. I'm sitting outside and I'm undercutting your prices. I'm like, what do you what do you want? You want a number three? I got you. I'm going inside. I'm getting number three. And I and I'm and I'm giving you this. I just it just doesn't make sense to me that they gave this man a year's worth of McDonald's. I don't even know how much a year's worth of McDonald's is. Cause I don't eat that. I don't eat that much McDonald's. It's gross. Oh, it's just. And he was so excited to get them hugs from them women. And last time I checked, you don't want a hug from a girl that works at a McDonald's. You, you Imagine what a woman that works at McDonald's looks like. I've never seen a fine woman working at McDonald's. And I'm not in there getting no hugs for no couple thousand dollars. I'm out. And I'm getting me a real lap dance. <laughs> I'm excited for this. Even though it's, it's, it's just my imagination running wild. They have electronic stones. In the Congo. They found electronic stones. Vibranium, vibranium, it might be a real thing. But they're saying these, these things can power cell phones, possibly power cars. And, of course, they find it. 
in Africa. Which is great. Which is great. I'm I'm hoping. I'm hoping we get a real life Black Panther because Elon Musk is letting us down with this Iron Man shit. So we need a real life Black Panther. Let's get it going. Electronic rock. I don't even know where this stuff comes from. I'm starting to think that people are really just starting to just to make shit up like a movie script. But I really do hope that we we get some of these rocks here because I'm I'm tired of paying the power bill. My power bill is obnoxious, especially out here in Las Vegas during the summer. AC bills high as a motherfucker. <sighs> Electronic rocks in the Congo. There's never anything. They don't, find, they don't never find anything good in these white countries. It's always, it's always Africa. Let's see, the motherland. That's why I call it the motherland. Speaking of motherlands, with every mother, there's a father. Nowadays, a baby daddy. Baby daddies, this is for you. Baby daddies, can we please stop? Can we please stop with this nonsense where you're telling your baby mama who's going to want you now? You got all these kids. Ain't nobody going to want you. Bro, if nobody wants your baby mama, it's not because she got kids. It's because she she look crazy. She look crazy. She act crazy. So the kids ain't stopping nothing. Your baby mama is obviously fucking. That's the first thing. You got kids? Fantastic. Fantastic. I know one or two things when a woman tells me she got kids. I know that she's fucking, and I know she's a woman. So I'm very excited about both those things. And I'm not going to be afraid... I'm not going to be afraid because she got some kids. I'm on two baby mama waiting lists right now waiting to fuck somebody baby mama. Sir, your baby mama, look, and if you really believe that, you come get them fucking kids. And I've talked about this before on the show. Please, I'm begging you for myself and other dudes out there that want to have sex with your baby mama. Please pick up them fucking kids. Please grab them kids just for the weekend, like one weekend a month so she can go out and do her thing. And look, I'll even, I don't, I don't know what you want. I don't know what you, what you require, what you desire. I mean, I'll pay for the kids meal because I know a dude that's getting free McDonald's for life. So <laughs> come get them kids. Me and this dude going to work something out. Happy meals on us. Fuck it. I said what I said. Don't forget to like, comment, share, do all the free shit, subscribe. Go ahead and get on Take Your Shot brand. Get you one of these shot straws right here. Use my promo code. Comedian Koi Cook 20. Like I said, I'm back, I'm back on it. I'm back on it. I had one, I had a moment of weakness. Never again. Ooh. Thank you for watching. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.